up everyone the blue lover channel here with my black friday 2017 blu-ray funko pops and laptop haul so here we go with my video guys but i went to best buy and i picked up four um brand new titles that came out this year so i'm going to show you what i got at best buy right now so right now what i got at um, best buy for 6.99 was wonder woman yes one of the best dc movies in a long time well written and well directed by Patty Jenkins, starring Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. This movie is incredible. This movie is good. It will make my top 10 movies of 2017. And this is one of the movies that I had bought when it first came out back in, I think, September. And I gave it away to a friend's um, son because he was a fan of the movie. And, you know, I'm a nice person, so I just gave away my copy and ended up, like, picking up another one for, like, $6.99 at Best Buy, so I got Wonder Woman. Next up, what I picked up for $9.99 at Best Buy is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, this one is a good, okay sequel. It does not beat the original. This one did have more jokes, more fun, more laughs. I enjoyed it. It was a good one and is rewatchable, but it doesn't beat the original, and I really enjoyed this. Spider-Man Homecoming I got for $9.99 at Best Buy. And um, the one thing about this um, Blu-ray that I didn't get was I said, did they accidentally print this wrong? When you flip it over, the uh, back of the um, Blu-ray uh, slipcover looks backwards. But then as I f looked at it again, it's only designed that because Spider-Man is actually upside down. Really enjoyed this movie. It will also possibly make my top 10 favorite movies of 2017. I don't know yet, but I got Spider-Man Homecoming, Fast and Furious 8. I got this for $9.99. Also at Best Buy, really did enjoy this movie. Um, some of the stunts were ridiculous. You can tell by the special effects that they didn't work their asses off and they did practical stuff here. But basically, as you know, every Fast and Furious movie has to, you know, up the ante after the last movie. Got Fast and Furious 8 for $9.99 at Best Buy. I'm going to show you some of the pre-Black um, Friday stuff I got on Amazon. So I got a little money saved up and stuff, and I needed to get some stuff, movies, some Blu-rays, some of my favorite old 80 classic movies that I grew up watching on HBO when I was a kid. Moving Violations, one of the different types of movies is about a bunch of you know misfits who get um, their license suspended they got to go to a driving school to get their licenses back something happens and they have to band together to get their driver's licenses back and also stop some corruption in the um, city I'm not gonna tell you anything else if you've not seen moving violations next up is the 1987 Creator Beauty starring Whoopi Goldberg and Sam Elliott's Armed and Dangerous yes I had to get Armed and Dangerous been waiting for years to get this movie. Always wanted to get Armed and Dangerous and get into my collection. Every time it's on TV, I have to watch it. I don't know what it is about Armed and Dangerous. Black Dog. Yes, Black Dog. Now, this is one of those, you know, movies that came out, didn't do well at the box office, and it's sort of just floated around cable and television for years. It's actually one of my just guilty pleasures. And it's a really good, okay, you know, like, Saturday afternoon movie to watch so i got black dog on blu-ray next up one of my favorite andrew dice clay movies and i always reference this movie all the time and i grew up watching andrew dice clay's um you know stand-up comedy when i was a kid in the 80s and the 90s that is the adventures of ford fairline finally got this in my collection had the dvd but had to update it to blu-ray really enjoy this movie i'm just mad that this one does not come with special features and the HD quality in this is not great because I did watch it a few days ago before Thanksgiving and I really, it still holds up to me and it's funny and Andrew Dice Clay is great. And Robert England here is great as well as the henchman and he never dies in the movie until the end. Sorry if I ruined it. If you've not seen The Adventures of Four Fairlane. Oh. Next up is the 20th anniversary Blu-ray remastered edition of Robocop. Yes, I finally got the first Robocop on Blu-ray. Had it in a two-disc DVD version, but I wanted to update it to Blu-ray. Also did a video a few months ago when I picked up the um, Scream Factory RoboCop 2 and 3 on Blu-ray. Had to get this one to finish off my RoboCop collection. I will not be getting the remake because that movie sucks. So I got RoboCop 20th Anniversary Edition. And that is Dread starring Carl Urban. This movie was incredible. It's based on one location which is a building which a lot of people think is a ripoff from the raid but i think this is fun carl urban plays judge dread i did grow up watching the sylvester stallone movie judge dread and i just it's i don't know what it is i can always watch judge dread with stallone but this one is really hardcore 
it's action packed and it's a good one and the 3d even though if you don't have 3d you can still see what they were trying to do with this movie was not a big hit but they're talking about a netflix or some type of tv series to bring back carl urban as dread i was looking forward to that so i got dread hamburger hill on blu-ray i own hamburger hill on dvd wanted to update this to blu-ray as you can tell it's never been opened because it just came in the mail this morning on Saturday and when I'm shooting this now and I got this at a good price eight dollars and I'm so happy I got it and I love this film the last 20 minutes of the movie when they're trying to get up to that hill is just it's heart-wrenching and it's just tough but it's a good movie it's based on actually true events and um, Hamburger Hill is one of my favorite war movies of all time so now after we got done at Best Buy and the pre-orders that I did for pre um, Black Friday we went to Walmart because my mom and my sisters wanted to go shop and, you know, get clothes and stuff. And I ended up getting stuck in that line that you have to wait between the, like, the, the chip aisle or the frozen food aisle to get to the Blu-rays. And I already picked up, like I said, Wonder Woman, Fast 8, and Spider-Man Homecoming, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So I ended up picking up a few other things and some things from the um, 788 bin and also the, um, the box bins where they keep all the um, sales for the Blu-rays. So I ended up picking up The Magnificent Seven. Yes, it is open because when we got home, my mom wanted to watch it. She loves Magnificent Seven. She's watching it countless, countlessly on, on demand on Epics. When she saw it, she just put it in and just watched it. I really enjoyed this movie. It's a really good Western. The last 30 minutes of this movie is directed beautifully by Antoine Fuqua. It's actually one of those Westerns that I love. And enjoyed so i got uh, magnificent seven at walmart next up is godzilla had to get godzilla and um, i was looking for kong skull island and my walmart sold out of it ended up picking this up but i didn't get this in the boxes where they were having their black friday so i ended up getting this off the 788 bin because i don't think the walmart was carrying this one this year if it did i didn't see it had to pick this up 788 had to get it i know people had their issues with this movie didn't have a lot of Godzilla, but um, it was also watched because my goddaughter was here too. And she never seen Godzilla, and she watched it and enjoyed it. So I got Godzilla. The Hateful Eight. I really enjoyed this movie. It made my top 10 movies of 2015. Great direction by Quentin Tarantino. This movie is three hours long, but it goes by so fast because it actually is a well-thought-out thriller about what's going on in a cabin and it has great laughs in the movie i didn't think it was going to be a comedy but this movie made me laugh a lot and i really enjoyed this movie and i'm finally gl glad i got it on black friday at walmart and i forgot the price in between i don't know where because i forget this thing so you figure how much it is and i don't have a receipt and i really don't care how much it is as long as i got it on my collection so i got the hateful eight laid now this was every year walmart has this and their boxes and their blu-ray um sales and this one came up to seven dollars so i guess whoever were putting the stickers on the blu-rays apparently didn't put in the right you know sticker but i ended up getting this for seven dollars i said i gotta get this i don't have the blade trilogy i only have them on dvd I wanted to update them to blu-ray so i ended up getting the three disc blade trilogy it's howard the duck yes this <sighs> what can i say about howard the duck Howard the Duck is one of the most fun, enjoyable movies I watched as a kid. I know this was a flop when it came out. It was a Marvel movie produced by um, Lucasfilm and George Lucas. The special effects are good here. The stuff they did here was incredible for his time in the 80s. It's a good one. I enjoyed Leah Thompson and Howard the Duck had, had great chemistry. And even Tim Robbins was cool in this movie. Like, he was really cool. And Jeffrey, um, what's his name? Jeffrey Jones. If you don't know him, he's the principal from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This movie is great. Really enjoyed it. Had to pick it up. Finally got it. 788 bin. So, yeah, Howard the Duck. A good thriller that I actually saw in theaters when it came out, and that is Joyride. A really good, suspenseful, underrated thriller if you've not seen, and it's still new. And one of my favorites, and I'm glad I finally got it. Owned the VHS to this movie. I never had the DVD. Every time it's on cable, I have to watch it. And I had to pick up Joyride because it's one of Paul Walker's best movies he doesn't have that many, but this was one of his best movies. And if you have not gotten to see Joyride, please, I recommend you buying it and watching it. It's a really good thriller, and you will enjoy it. Joyride. Last pickup that I got, I already own it on DVD. Got it. Walmart had a Halloween section back in October. Did not get a chance to get to it. And um, 
saw the Blu-ray there. It was $7. I had the DVD, but I had to upgrade, and that is Child's Play. Yes, yeah, the original Child's Play, and um, it comes with this really cool, um, like, card in the inside, inserted inside the um, Blu-ray wrapping, and um, because I have the DVD, so the DVD art is the same. It's the box that I have in here. But it's different here, and this one was really cool, and this one was really awesome. So when you take the card out, you're going to get this um, picture art in the front of the um, Blu-ray. And I really enjoyed it. And um, I usually have um, extra Blu-ray cases so I can make like Blu-ray DVD combo set of both films. But I'm glad I updated to Blu-ray. Really enjoyed the first Child's Play. Um, enjoy Child's Play 2 and 3, and you know, Bride of Chucky is like a cult. Like, for me, it's like a guilty pleasure. And then the rest of the movies really suck. And the last... The um the, the cult cult of Chucky was okay, but it wasn't as great as it is, and they need to reboot that franchise. So I got the Child's Play Walmart exclusive Halloween Blu-ray. I also ended up picking up a Funko Pop, and that is from the Amazing Spider-Man to coincide with the Amazing Spider-Man Blu-ray, which I got at Best Buy. I'm trying to get some superhero Funko Pops, and I have a few from Star Wars and like the Batman animated series, and had to get it. Really enjoyed. It. Spider-Man Homecoming I had to get a Funko Pop so next up is something that I really needed and I got a few months ago and it was a red uh, uh, Huber Packard Red Flyer um, laptop and it broke on me after a week and I had a warranty so I took it back to Walmart did not get a replacement so I got the money back and decided to wait until Black Friday and I ended up getting a new Red Flyer laptop at Walmart this one was $300 total um, it was the last one. We went to sort of a new 24-hour Walmart in Connecticut. And they had, this was the last one. And I said, I hope this doesn't break. He said it was brand new. It's been sitting there for months. They All the other laptops they had were already gone. And, you know, might as well just update it and get a new laptop. And i um, been using my mom's laptop to, you know, put the cards in the ends of my videos. And look how cool that is. I, got, I finally got my own laptop, and it's great. I've been using it for the last like day and a half since Thursday and it's just been great and um, finally got a laptop now I have to learn how to edit on a laptop because I do all my editing on my Samsung Galaxy S phone but trying to you know get myself acquainted doing everything on my laptop so it's gonna take a while guys so yeah I got a new HD red awesome Heber Packard laptop guys yeah I just want to say that I was blessed this year to save some money and save some of my tax money and just to show you guys what I got and um, I'm sorry I didn't shoot any footage in the stores I lost the footage some of the footage was just ruined and it was just barbaric in the stores especially inside the Walmart we went to two Walmarts and we went to a ghetto Walmart where we live close to just people fighting over the dumbest stuff that you don't need and then we went the next day and that stuff they were fighting with was still there, like a few copies of TVs and stuff. Like, you go the next day, stuff is still going to be there on sale, man. It's like, I don't know why people fight. But guys, um, so this was my Blu-ray and Funko Pops and Laptop haul. I would love to show you everything again, but it's a lot of Blu-rays. I showed you what I picked up at Best Buy, which was Wonder Woman, Spider-Man Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and Fast and Furious 8. My pre-Black um, Friday pickups. And it had been at Walmart as well. So I'm very grateful for the Blu-rays that I picked up this Black Friday. It was very... Dude, I picked up like a Banshee this year. I know I have not that many Blu-ray updates on my channel. But I'm trying to grow my Blu-ray collection. Yes, a lot of people are you know upgrading to their 4K. I don't have a 4K TV yet. Maybe next year with a 4K player. But I'm still going to keep my Blu-rays. I'm not going to get rid of them. I already gave away my whole entire DVD collection to my sister. Because she... You know, because she's not into technology as that. So anything that plays DVD, she'll play. So it's easy to give away stuff. But my Blu-ray collection is going to stay around. I'll get a 4K player probably next year, Black Friday. We don't know. But I was blessed this year to get a laptop, movies, and a Funko Pop. So yeah, guys, leave a comment letting me know what did you pick up on this Black Friday. Let me know what you got. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit my post notifications bell. Once you hit that bell, you will get all my notifications of my new videos being uploaded to my channel. So once you get that in your notification box, you can turn on that and get to my new videos once they're uploaded. And share the videos while I am the Blur Lover channel. And now I'm going to watch all these movies, play with my Funko Pops, and learn how to use a laptop. All right, guys. Happy holidays.